The Cessna 150 is a two-seat tricycle gear general aviation airplane that was designed for flight training, touring and personal use. The Cessna 150 is the fifth most produced civilian plane ever, with 23,839 aircraft produced. The Cessna 150 was offered for sale in the 150 basic model, commuter, commuter 2, patroller and the aerobatic aerobat models. Development Overview Development of the Model 150 began in the mid-1950s with the decision by Cessna Aircraft to produce a successor to the popular Cessna 140 which finished production in 1951. The main changes in the 150 design were the use of tricycle landing gear, which is easier to learn to use than the tailwheel landing gear of the Cessna 140, and replacing the rounded wing tips and horizontal and vertical stabilizers with more modern, squared-off profiles. In addition, the narrow, hinged wing flaps of the 140 were replaced by larger, far more effective Fowler flaps. The Cessna 150 prototype first flew on September 12, 1957, with production commencing in September 1958 at Cessna's Wichita, Kansas plant. 216 aircraft were also produced by Reims Aviation under license in France. These French manufactured 150s were designated Reims F-150, the F indicating they were built in France. American made 150s were all produced with a Continental O200A 100 horsepower engine, but the Reims built aircraft are powered by Rolls-Royce built Continental O200As, with some Continental O240A powered versions. All Cessna 150s have very effective flaps that extend 40 degrees. The best performing airplanes in the 150 and 152 fleet are the 1962 Cessna 150B and the 1963 Cessna 150C thanks to their light 1,500 pounds gross weight and more aerodynamic rear fuselage, they climb the fastest, have the highest ceilings, and require the shortest runways. They have a 109 knot cruise speed, faster than any other model year of either the 150 or 152. All models from 1966 onwards have larger doors and increased baggage space. With the 1967 model 150G the doors were bowed outwards 1.5 inches on each side to provide more cabin elbow room. Production A total of 22,138 Cessna 150s were built in the United States, including 21,404 commuters and 734 aerobats. Reams Aviation completed 1,764 F-150s, of which 1,428 were commuters and 336 were aerobats. A Reams affiliate in Argentina also assembled 47 F-150s, including 38 commuters and 9 aerobats. Of all the Cessna 150-152 models. The 1966 model year was the most plentiful with 3,067 1966 Cessna 150s produced. This was the first year the aircraft featured a swept tail fin, increased baggage area and electrically operated flaps. Design succession, the 150 was succeeded in the summer of 1977 by the closely related Cessna 152. The 152 is more economical to operate due to the increased TBO of the light coming O235 engine. The 152 had its flap travel limited to 30 degrees from the 150's 40 degree deflection for better climb with full flaps and the maximum certified gross weight was increased from 1,600 pounds on the 150 to 1,670 pounds on the 152. Production of the 152 ended in 1985 when manufacturing of all Cessna piston singles was suspended. In 2007 Cessna announced the two-seat successor to the Model 150 and 152, the Model 162 Skycatcher. Variants, 150, the first model year of the Cessna 150 carried no suffix letter. It was available as the 150, or the upgraded commuter. The engine was a 100 horsepower Continental O200, the gross weight was 1,500 pounds and flaps were actuated manually with a lever between the seats. Production commenced late in 1958 as the 1959 model year. The cost was 6,995 US dollars for the standard model 150, 
$7,940 for the trainer and $8,545 for the commuter. The 1960 model introduced a 35 ampere generator on the commuter. The Patroller was also introduced in 1960. This was a standard 150 with acrylic glass windows on the lower doors, 35 US gallon long range fuel tanks, and a message chute for dropping packages to the ground. Production was 122 in 1958, 648 in 1959, and 354 in 1960. 150A, the 1961 model incorporated enough changes to justify a suffix letter and thus was designated the A Euro A150 or Euro. The A had its main landing gear moved aft by two inches to eliminate the problem of the aircraft ending up on its tail while loading people and baggage and also to improve nose wheel steering authority. The A also had 15% larger rear side windows and new adjustable seats. 344 were constructed. 150B, the 150B was the 1962 model. It had a new propeller that increased cruise speed by two knots and the option of a two-passenger child seat for the baggage compartment. 331B models were built. The commuter version cost $8,995 US dollars. 150C, the 1963 model was the C, which introduced the option of larger 6.00A, 6-inch tires to replace the standard 5.00A, 5 tires and fuel quick drains. 472 were completed. 150D, the 1964 D model brought the first dramatic change to the 150 Euro the introduction of a rear window under the marketing name Omnivision. The rear window changed the look of the 150 and cost 3 miles per hour in cruise speed. It also resulted in a larger baggage compartment and a greater structural weight allowance for baggage from 80 to 120 pounds. The unswept tail fin from previous years was retained for another two years. Elevator and rudder mass balances were increased to reduce flutter potential caused by the less aerodynamic rear fuselage. The gross weight of the aircraft was also increased in 1964 to 1,600 pounds, where it would stay until the advent of the Cessna 152. 804 150DS were built. Many people find the new cabin more airy and pleasant due to the increased light. 150E, the 1965 Cessna 150E saw only the addition of new seats, although the standard empty weight went up 40 pounds that year to 1,010 pounds. The E model saw production increase to 1637 aircraft. 150F, the 1966 model saw great changes to the 150 design. The tail fin was swept back 35 degrees to match the styling of the Cessna 172 and other models. The cabin doors were made 23% wider, new brakes were brought in and the 6.00A, 6 tires were made standard. The previously manual flaps were now electrically actuated through a panel-mounted flap switch. The old electric stall warning system was replaced with a pneumatic type. The baggage compartment was enlarged by 50%. A total of 3087 of the newly styled F models were produced. 1966 was also the first production of French Reims built F 150s, with 67 built as the F 150F, 150G. In the 1967 model, the instrument panel was redesigned. The doors were bowed out to give three more inches of shoulder and hip room, which was needed in the small cabin. The G model also saw a new short-stroke nose Aleo introduced to reduce the drag created by the nose wheel assembly. The previously fitted generator was replaced by a 60-ampere alternator, reflecting the increasing avionics that the planes were being fitted with. The G model was also the first Cessna 150 variant certified for floats. A total of 2114 G models were built, plus 152 built by Reams as F-150G. 150H, the 1968 model 150 was designated the H. It introduced a new style center console, designed to improve legroom. A new electric flap switch was also fitted that allowed hands off retraction of the flaps, but not extension. 2007 150Hs were built in Wichita, with 170 built by Reams as the F 150H, 150I. 
there was no 150 India model as Cessna didn't want it to look like a Cessna 1501. This did not prevent Cessna from designating an India model Cessna 172 however. 150J, the 150J, in 1969, brought a new key operated starter that replaced the old pull style starter. The new starter was more car-like, but not as reliable as the old one and also more expensive to repair. An auxiliary power plug was also made available as an option in 1969, along with rocker-style electrical switches. 1714J models were built, plus 140 built by Reams as the F-150J, 150K, 1970 was the year that Cessna introduced the A-150K Aerobat, a Cessna 150K with limited aerobatic capabilities. It retained the 100 horsepower Continental O200 all 150s used, but differed from the baseline 150K in having more structural strength, being rated plus 6 slash minus 3G. Other aerobatic features included four-point harnesses for both occupants, dual overhead skylights for upward visibility jettisonable doors, a more sporty checkerboard paint scheme and removable seat cushions so that parachutes could be worn. In 1970, an aerobat cost $12,000 as opposed to the $11,450 price for a 150K commuter model. Both the new aerobat and the non-aerobatic 150K also sported new conical cambered wing tips in 1970. A total of 832K models were built, including A150KS. Reams built 129 as the F150K and 81 as the FA150K, 150L. The 150L had the longest production run of any 150 sub-model, being produced 1971 a Euro 74. New in 1971 were tubular landing gear legs with a 16% greater width to 7 feet 7 inches for better ground handling. These replaced the previous flat steel leaf spring gear. Also in 1971, the landing and taxi lights were moved from the wing leading edge to the nose bowl to better illuminate the ground. They were an improvement, but bulb life was reduced due to the heat and vibration of that location. They were moved back to the wing on the 1984 model Cessna 152. The L also introduced a longer dorsal strake that reached to the rear window. This was done more for styling than for aerodynamics and the empty weight accordingly went up 10 pounds over the K. 879 were built in 1971. In 1972 the L received new fuel filler caps to reduce moisture seepage, and better seats and seat tracks. 1100 were built in 1972. The 1973 L model brought in lower seats to provide more headroom for taller pilots. 1460 of the 1973 models were built. The final L model was produced in 1974. The only change this model year was the propeller on the A150 L Aerobat to a new Clark Y airfoil that increased cruise by 4 miles per hour. 108150s were produced in 1974. Total L production was 4519, plus the 485 built by Reams as the F150L and 39 FA150L Aerobats. An additional 39 were built in Argentina by Denvia as the A150L. FRA150L Aerobat Reams produced a variant of the FA-150L Aerobat with a Rolls-Royce Continental O240A engine, 141 built. 150M, the final Cessna 150 model was the 150M. It introduced the commuter 2 upgrade package that included many optional avionics and trim items as standard. The M also brought an increased fin height, by 6 inches. This increased the rudder and fin area by 15% to improve crosswind handling. The M was produced for three years, 1975 a Euro 77. Inertia reel restraints became available as an option with the 1975 model year. 1269 1975 model 150 milliseconds were built. In 1976 the M gained a suite of electrical circuit breakers to replace the previous fuses used. It was also fitted with a fully articulated pilot seat as standard equipment. 1399 were built. The 1977 model year was the last for the Cessna 150. It added only pre-select flaps, 
allowing the pilot to set the flaps to any position without the pilot having to hold the switch during flap travel, enabling the pilot to concentrate on other flying duties. Only 427 1977 model 150 milliseconds were built as production shifted to the improved Cessna 152 in the early part of 1977. The many refinements incorporated into the 150 over the years had cost the aircraft a lot of useful load. The very first 150 weighed 962 pounds empty, whereas the last M commuter 2 had an empty weight of 1,129 pounds. This increase in empty weight of 167 pounds was offset only by a gross weight increase of 100 pounds in 1964. The 152 would bring a much needed 70 pounds increase in gross weight to 1,670 pounds. A total of 3097M models were built during its three year run. An additional 285 were built by Reams as the F 150M and 141FA150M Aerobats. Reams also built 75A150LS with F-150M modifications. FRA-150M, Reams produced a variant of the Rolls-Royce Continental O240A powered FRA-150L Aerobat with the same improvements as the F-150M, 75 built. Flight characteristics, the Cessna 150 is simple, robust, and easy to fly. For these reasons it has become one of the world's most popular basic trainers. Cockpit visibility is generally good other than directly above the aircraft, where the view is blocked by the wing. This obstruction is of particular concern when, as is the case with most high-wing aircraft, the inside turn wing blocks vision in the direction of a turn. As a partial remedy to this some 150s, including all aerobats, feature a pair of overhead skylights. Due to its lightweight and light wing loading, the aircraft is sensitive to turbulence. Power on and power off stalls are easily controlled. Normal spin recovery techniques are highly effective. Modifications available, there are hundreds of modifications available for the Cessna 150. Some of the most frequently installed include, vortex generators and STOL kits that reduce the stall speed of the plane. Flap gap seals to reduce drag and increase rate of climb. Different wing tips, some of which claim various cruise speed increases and stall speed reductions. Auto fuel STCs, which permit the use of automobile fuel instead of the more expensive aviation fuel. Larger engines, up to 180 horsepower. Tail drag and landing gear. Auxiliary fuel tanks for larger capacity. Door catches to replace the factory ones that often fail in service. Belly fuel drain valves to drain fuel from the lowest point in the fuel system. Noteworthy flights. On August 8, 1964, a pair of commercial pilots flew a Cessna 150 into the Meteor Crater in Arizona. On crossing the rim, they could not maintain level flight. The pilot attempted to build up speed by circling in the crater to climb over the rim. During the attempted climb out, the aircraft stalled, crashed, and caught fire. It is commonly reported that the plane ran out of fuel, but this is incorrect. Both occupants were severely injured but survived their ordeal. A small portion of the wreckage not removed from the crash site remains visible to this day. In the summer of 1980 a Cessna 150F was flown from London, England to Darwin, Australia in 32 stages by Jeanette Shaparagraph NBURG, a 27-year-old female pilot. Shaparagraph NBURG made the flight to commemorate the 50th anniversary of pioneering female aviator Amy Johnson's 1930 flight between the two cities. This aircraft, UK registration GAWAW, was used for several years as a static display at the London Science Museum. In May 2010 it was donated to the Cessna 150-152 Club, and shipped to Florida where it is being restored by club members. On September 12, 1994, Frank Eugene Cordo intentionally crashed a Cessna 150L onto the south lawn of the White House against the south wall of the executive mansion, in an apparent suicide. Cordo was killed, but no one else was injured and damage to property on the ground was minimal. In 1996 a Cessna 150 was flown from the United States to South Africa in several stages, crossing the Atlantic along the way. 
an extra 60-gallon fuel tank was installed and the plane took off 500 pounds over gross weight. Operators equals Civil equals The aircraft is popular with flying schools as well as private individuals. The Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University Golden Eagles flight team based at Prescott, Arizona operate two 1965 Cessna 150s. The team has won eight National Intercollegiate Flying Association National Championships since 1993. Similarly, the University of North Dakota has also used Cessna 150s on the road to two of their 16 NIFA National Championships. Equals Military Equals Burundi, Burundi Air Force 3XFRA-150L, Democratic Republic of the Congo Air Force of the Democratic Republic of the Congo 15XFRA-150M, Ecuador, Ecuadorian Air Force 24XA-150, Haiti, Haitian Air Force, Ivory Coast, Ivory Coast Air Force 3XF-150L, Liberia, Liberian Army 1X-150K, Mexico, Mexican Naval Aviation 2X-150J, Paraguay, Paraguayan Naval Aviation 2X-150M, Somalia, Somali Air Force 2XFRA-150L, Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka Air Force 10X, 150, United States, United States Air Force, the United States Air Force Academy flying team uses three Cessna 150s designated T-51A for training and competition. For better performance at altitude, these aircraft have been equipped with 150 horsepower light coming 0320 E2D engines and propeller combinations. These aircraft are operated by the 557th Flying Training Squadron. Accidents, March 27, 1968. Ozark Airlines Flight 965, a Douglas DC-9-15, collided with a Cessna 150 FN 8669G while landing at Lambert ST. Louis International Airport. The Cessna crashed, killing both people, but the DC-9 landed safely. January 9, 1971. American Airlines Flight 30, a Boeing 707-323C, collided with Cessna 150 and 60942 while landing at Newark International Airport. The Cessna crashed, killing both people, but the Boeing landed safely. August 4, 1971. Continental Airlines Flight 712, a Boeing 707-324C, collided with Cessna 150JN61011 while landing at Los Angeles International Airport. The Cessna crashed, injuring both people, but the Boeing landed safely. January 9, 1975. Golden West Airlines Flight 261, a de Havilland Canada DHC-6 Twin Otter, collided with Cessna 150N11421 at Whittier, California while on approach to Los Angeles International Airport, killing all 14 people on both planes. July 7, 2015. Cessna 150MN3601V was involved in a mid-air collision with a General Dynamics F-16CJ Fighting Falcon over Monk's Corner, South Carolina, United States. Both occupants of the Cessna were killed. The pilot of the F-16 ejected safely. Specifications Data from Jane's All the World's Aircraft, General Characteristics, Crew, 2, Length, 23 feet 11 inches, Wingspan, 33 feet 2 in, Height, 8 feet 6 in, Wing Area, 160 square feet, Empty Weight, 1,122 pounds, Max Takeoff Weight, 1,600 pounds, Power Plant, 1A, Continental O200A Air-Cooled Horizontally Opposed Engine, 100 horsepower, Performance, Maximum Speed, 109 kn at sea level, Cruise Speed, 82 kn at 10,000 feet, Stall Speed, 42 kn, Never Exceed Speed, 140 kn. Range, 420 mi, Service Ceiling, 14,000 feet, Rate of Climb, 670 feet per minute, Takeoff run to 50 feet, 1,385 feet, Landing run from 50 feet, 1,075 feet. See also Related development, Cessna 140, Cessna 152, Cessna 172, 
aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era, Alpha 2000, Beechcraft Skipper, Diamond DA-20, Grumman American AA-1, Liberty XL-2, Piper Tomahawk, Symphony SA-160, Related Lists, List of Aircraft, List of Civil Aircraft, List of Most Produced Aircraft. References equals notes equals equals bibliography equals external links airliners.net aircraft data Cessna 150 and 152 Cessna 152 air about Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum website 150/152 model history